Now, it's time whenever I get to Wellington to chide Paul Brennan, who is producing <coughs> today's show, uh, mm. about a bet he made. And I just want to make sure you, you've saved for it because it's, it's a lot of money. You can do an early payout if you want. A $100. Uh, it's not enough. And a bottle of wine, I think it was. Yeah. Mm. Now, a, a, a moderately priced bottle of wine. A moderately priced bottle of wine. Mm. Uh, okay, I can see you going to I'm looking forward to receiving it. Well, yeah, you, but you're not going to get it. You see, just to explain, remind listeners, Paul and I have got a, a wager. Now, on the, on the face of things, you'd think, ah, oh, it's not a very important wager, but it is. It's a huge wager. Mm. And, and Paul, who, to be perfectly honest with you, has some interesting and alternative views on life. No, it's not true. Okay, well... Pretty mainstream, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I, uh, listen, I'm, for sure, a thinking I'm person. sure you'd... Ah, oh, there we go. You see, mm. you had to add that in yeah, well, for a thinking true. person. But, but it's yeah. true. No, you got... They're mainstream I'm ideas. I'm not a normie. Thinking. They're not... You're not a normie. No, 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 that's right. No, 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 that's right, you're not. No, I... I uh, seems to think that the Ukraine war will be over by... Was it the 30th or 31st well, of January? Well, it's basically over now. Oh, they're, they're, they're on their knees now. So right, that's why I say you might as well just pay And that the Russians are going to win. Yeah, well, they've won. No. Oh, oh God. It's just that you haven't heard about there it. There you go. Uh, well, that be because the mainstream media aren't telling us the truth. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So the Russians are, what, just outside Kiev? I don't think they want that territory. The western they part did. of the Ukraine is not Russian uh, associated um, as compared to the eastern part. And remember that they've annexed those areas. They're now part of Russia. So they have a sovereign mission to protect them. So they won't let those go. But I don't think they'll bother with Kiev or the western side because it's going to be rubble. And what can you do with rubble? Not okay. much. So. You're a bit of a fan of the Russians, aren't you, really? No. Aren't you? No. You don't I'm think what they're doing is right or wrong? Well, I can see how it got to this. And if you remember our chat, it was based on why sacrifice Ukrainian lives <clears throat> to that scale for no outcome. It's pointless. Well, it's, it's just called freedom. It's, not, it's just a... They're no, not yeah. free. Zelensky's a, a complete dictator. Ah, uh, okay. And an actor. What, you mean a bit like Winston Churchill was during the Second World oh, War? Oh, he's a dictator. He, uh, he's wound down all opposition. He's consolidated all media operations. That's not a free country. Well, that's pretty much like Winston Churchill did during the Second World War. You tend to do that. It's not the Second World War, though. Yeah, but they, no, you're right. It's probably so, even so more important So if you're going to claim them, to be invaded. something, be it. No, he is. He's been invaded. I mean, at least Churchill... He's an didn't. actor. He, he's a soap so opera actor. So Winston Churchill. And turning up in a stupid T-shirt, okay. laundering all that money that the U.S. taxpayer is oh, giving. Oh right, him. so that's right. He's enriching himself, and, and, uh, he, yeah. and he's got his condos around ideas? the world. Is it Fox News, and he'll go to Miami no, or one of his Fox one News. of his mansions, and that's a fact. There you go, and and he'll be okay if no one gets him first, okay. which they probably will. All right, so Vlad, mad, bad Vlad, invaded Ukraine. Don't think he's mad. Oh, he's as insane as insane gets. But how do you know that? Uh, you don't invade Otago another Daily country Times and decide again. to sacrifice roughly 100,000 Just because the ODT says it, Michael. Oh, it's okay. not so real. Not, so he didn't invade Ukraine. And people are no, dying he did. He who did. are Russian. He did. He did yeah, invade he did. Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, I think, provoked. It was provoked. That's right. Because yeah. Ukraine were going to do something dreadful. Well, no, that they were murdering uh, Russian <coughs> um, ethnic people in those eastern no, areas. They were, they were involved in what would be benignly... Well, pro Tacitly described as perhaps a civil war. Well, okay then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which was aided and abetted who, by the who, Russians who because they'd been putting mercenaries into the Donetsk. Who identified as Russian. But anyway, they're going to lose. That's all that matters. Yeah, I know. That's what you're saying. As far yeah, as yeah, we're They're going to lose. And they're going to lose the war. They've lost it already. Uh, they've lost it already. That's right. But they've got no power. They're freezing. Mm -hmm. Klitschko, the mayor of Kiev, is talking about evacuating everyone from the city because people will not survive. So enough. the Russians can fire off 100 guided missiles every day and take, take them out. They're gone. All right. Um, so and the I think the bet was that um, the Russians are going to win the war. Yeah. And they started with, I, I actually just checked 
as to why they launched. It wasn't a war, of course. It wasn't even an invasion. It was a sort of a police action, really. No, it was in. a special military special operation. Special military operation. That was no, right. they just put 80,000... To de-Nazify de yeah. well, de as, as Ukraine and um, put in... Italian, yeah. who wear Nazi insignia on their uniforms. They're, no, they don't. Yes, they it do. Doesn't. No, it's yes, another, they, another yes, fiction you've dreamed no, up. No, no, um, no. Honestly, you're in the wrong... There's no, there's no Nazi insignia on the uniforms, but anyhow, carry on. Um, but... The Russians invaded the Ukraine with the intention of doing three things. So they stated. One, regime change. Two, um, no. I don't think it was regime change. Yes, they wanted to, they wanted to denazify the Ukraine. That's not regime change. Yes, That's it is. getting rid of the well, Nazi they were getting elements rid of, Mr. of the and all Ukraine all those other military. elected people. That, so they didn't like them. Well, that, that's, a, that, that's stretching it a bit. But okay. No, that's what they said. Listen, I'm only reading I never tests. heard him say, so, okay. I never heard Putin say regime change at all. No, he wouldn't have used those exact words. No, okay, so we're in guessing. In part because he speaks Russian. We're guessing. But it, uh, the effect was regime change. So he wanted to denazify the Ukraine. So get and and get rid of um, Zelensky and all those elected officials. The second thing they wanted to do was make sure that they well, they're not elected anymore because become uh, a neutral country so that they are well they, stay they, they neutral. don't have NATO stay yeah, neutral right yeah uh, which which is because you don't want you don't, you don't want um, your 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 offensive opposition potentially on your border no and that, and that, that's just worked it's out fair so enough. well for them well it's not for Ukraine it hasn't no it hasn't worked out so well for Russia either has it. Because well, now NATO are going into Finland and Sweden, where previously they'd never gone before. So guess what? You know, NATO has now no got, capacity. Now got, NATO's finished. It has oh, no NATO's capacity. NATO's finished, right? They don't have enough weapons. They right. don't have enough ammo. Okay. They're a name only, name Michael. Name only. Gosh, mm. you're doing a bloody good job for name only. Can I have a name only come over here and run our defence force? Dear Lord. Um, and the third thing that they were going to do was... Apparently uh, as half you, of our guys can't even as you uh, say, do the fitness test. So. Annex, annex good parts of the Ukraine and... Well, no, that wasn't the intent. That that came later. There was no intent to annex. No, they wanted to be the, to be autonomous. Autonomous, mm. right? With uh, using they, their own language, it's illegal to but speak they didn't Russian move in to these. Kursong. Imagine if it was illegal to speak English. There's not a majority of Russian speakers in Kursong. And, and, and where do you live, Cromwell? Imagine if it was you couldn't use your native language <laughs> in Cromwell. If it was illegal, how would you feel about that? Um, well, you've got to go back to 2014 as to how that started, but. It, it, it doesn't matter. The, the Minsk, point was they the are, Minsk Accords. They are, they are, well, they were part of Ukraine. They're not anymore. As you no, say, they've been gone. Yeah. But he also has annexed two other areas that weren't primary Russian speakers, which is um, the ones, the, the, sorry, I can't say it, the ZAP, whatever it is. Where the nuclear power plant and is. And the Kursan, because those yeah. weren't primary. So why did he need to take over those as so well? So he come back around from the south and take Odessa and make them a landlocked country to really teach them a lesson. It's going so well. Well, Ukraine's finished, so it's not going so well for Ukraine. They don't look finished to me. Oh. In fact, they look like they've been invaded, are resisting. They're they done. won the Battle of Kiev. They've just won the Battle of Kherson. One thing you've got to realise about Russian military history is that territory's never been a big thing for them. It's areas of influence oh. and strategic points. And Ukraine is an open, flat country. You can trade you know, 200 square miles here and there, it makes no strategic difference. So to say that you've recovered territory does really not tell any part of the story. It ebbs and it flows. The point is, they can push I a button every night, 100 later. cruise missiles go and knock out every bit of infrastructure, they're done, it's over. <sighs> That's sad. Um, the fact that the United Nations, sorry, has condemned uh, Russia with, I think, only five people voting for the Russians... The fact that they've isolated themselves from pretty much all of Europe. That doesn't matter, that though. They've militarised Sweden and Finland, who previously were never militarised, no and weapons. now they want to join NATO. In name only, and the Michael. fact that Ukraine will now join NATO on a fast track, you don't think that this has worked in an ulterior way to what the Russians originally conceived? I think the Russians thought early on when they, they did their special military op operation with, what, 60,000 troops then, or, or thereabouts, they thought it won't be too long before the, the moron in the T-shirt would be knocking on the door, and he did. There was peace talks just about to take place in Istanbul in April. The Americans and, and Boris Johnson representing them scuppered it. Then they thought, well, OK, why, why, is, why is this? These people are stupid, they're not getting the point. And now 80,000 Russian troops have been in training, are joining the fight in the next 
We hmm, they've do. all been called up. They can't train. They've got an adequate weapons and munitions. Ukrainians have lost 100,000. Their mothers have got really upset. 400,000 wounded. There's just no way they can but do you it. Can't, you're making those statistics up. I know you are because there are no official statistics of military casualties for the war on either side. But nevertheless, the Russians are dying in new Ukraine on significant numbers. I think you'd... You'd agree with that? Yeah. Way less than the Ukrainian. I say well, well, at least again, five to one. Five to one. No, again, I don't know where you get those stats from. Yeah, well, you know. Certainly not any reliable what, source for an intelligent person. Well, no, I think reliable oh, okay. sources. Where do you get that information from? I watched from? General uh, Douglas, uh, sorry, Colonel Douglas McGregor, who's Colonel Douglas who, McGregor. who led American uh, in NATO in Germany. He wouldn't be an anti would he? We see. <laughs> Do you, take se- do you take seriously anyone that's not in the ODT? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, you've never I heard of... The, here's the, here's the, how embarrassing is this? You've never even heard of that person. You're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Scott Ritter? No, I have heard of Scott Ritter. Okay. But, but do you I've know never heard he, of this Have you ever heard of anything he said? No. No, but, but I do read. I do read. And I do... There's a very good site, which... Can I get you to go to? It's called the Institute for the Study of War. Mm. Do you, would, well, you might not like like it, but in actual fact, it does provide daily updates. I, I, there's a site I look at too that, uh, d- that updates one? the battle. No, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah, but yours is in Russian. Yeah. Um, no, this Mine's one's bigger in English. than yours, Michael. 